Good morning, everybody, from the Wife Mobile. It's Saturday morning, and we have a service tire monitor system code on our vehicle here. That's because we put our winter tires on, and one of the sensors in one of the tires is not working. It hasn't been working all winter. That's the that's the stuff that tells us how much air pressure is in the tires, and it's kind of annoying seeing that on there. It's not like anything bad with the vehicle, but we're gonna go get that fixed today. So this has been like this since we put the winter tires on in fall. And I don't drive this vehicle every day, so I don't see this error code every day on the dash, but Britt does, and she does. And I can imagine how annoying that would be to have that little yellow light there all the time telling you, hey, we don't know how much air pressure's in your tires. You no, know, like every other vehicle 10 years ago didn't know. But nowadays our cars are so smart, if they don't know, they let you know. Like, hey, something's wrong. I don't know how much air is in your tires. So I've got the new sensor right here. All I gotta do is get them to install it. It should take less than half an hour. And then this code can be gone and the vehicle can rest easy again knowing that the tires are full of air. You know, usually I would just use my own eyeballs to tell if I had a flat tire. Nowadays, that's too much for some people. They need sensors in there to tell them, hey, by the way, you've got a flat, eh? Like, uh, maybe you should get that looked at. Little lights flashing on their dash. Your tires are low. We're babied nowadays. We're a bunch of coddled car owners. So off we go to the GM dealership in town. I have an appointment for uh, five minutes ago. I'm late. Shh. And of course it's the weekend and everybody's in weekend mode and not doing the speed limit and every light that I can, I'm getting red. So that's just what happens when you're in a rush and you're late, all the lights are red. <laughs> That just seems to be the way of it for me anyways. If I've got somewhere to be, or if I'm like five minutes late, oh, seven minutes late now, I'm gonna get every light red, every single one. Can you relate to that? Come on, prove myself wrong, prove myself wrong. Stay green, stay green, yes! Oh, in that case, I love it when I'm wrong. That's awesome. Okay, we got two more lights to go yet. And this guy in front of me in his fancy Mercedes is in weekend mode and doing 30 below the speed limit. Excuse me, excuse me, I have an appointment, I'm late. Very important, excuse me. I know you have a fancy SUV, I like it. It's very nice, get out of my way. Another green light, no way. See, all you gotta do is call them out. You gotta call them out. I'm gonna turn here. There's GM over there, gonna be 10 minutes late. They're gonna be mad. I hope not. I hate being late. I hate being late. Look at all these cars in line. One, two, three, four, five. It's a Saturday. Where are you all going? Probably Walmart. That makes sense. You're going to Walmart, aren't you? All of you. So today, later this afternoon, I'm hoping to be able to go and pick up the keys for our shop. I've been talking about this the last couple of days already. I'm trying to find a time that works for me and the owner of the shop there to go and uh, give him his first month rent and then uh, pick up the keys. I'm very excited about it. Very excited. No, you're not going. You're all going to Starbucks. Y'all got to get your Frappadappuccinos. Every single one of you. Every single one of you. And that person too? Are you going across? Okay, I'm going, I have the right of way. They're all going to Starbucks for the Frappadappuccinos. Bunch of hipsters. They got good coffee though, I'm not gonna lie. I like Starbucks coffee. And I know I used to say the exact opposite. People change, okay, people change. Here we go, certified service, GM. Why is there a stop sign here? Really, I gotta stop, I'm late. Which bay do I go to? Why is there two lined up there? I'm going to door one, because I'm number one. Let's see what happens. Oh, the door's opening. Why is that guy waiting over there then? Hope I'm going in the right way. Oh, I think you need to. Talk to you guys in a bit, okay? Wish me luck. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's nice. That is nice. I love the new Duramaxes. It took a while for them to grow on me, I'll be honest. And I like them. So guess how much my bill was. You ready for this? Here, you're gonna be surprised. You're gonna be shocked. Wanna know how much it was? Believe it or not, it was zero dollars. There was nothing wrong with the sensors. They just had to relearn them. I don't know why they couldn't relearn them last time I was here. Last time I was here, they told me that one needed to be replaced. So I went and got the replacement part. My father-in-law uh, was able to find one for us. Now I bring it to get this new part installed and they're telling me there's nothing wrong with the old part. So we have an extra tire sensor just in case. So there's nothing wrong with it. They just had to relearn the sensors. The terrain just wasn't that smart. I had to go back to school and relearn a few things. Well, at least that problem solved. Good news though, right? We don't get much of that these days. Good news. No bill, zero dollars. I've got the keys to the shop. Went and checked it out already. Pretty excited, so I'm gonna start moving in a few things every weekend. The majority of my stuff is out in the sheds in the back. I'll show you, I can't really get to them until the snow melts, but for what I can get to, like all of my bull snot products and stuff, I'm gonna bring them over to the shop because that's where I'm gonna be using them. And a lot of our stuff that's been in here, all around here, this does my seat cover, I gotta put in the semi truck yet. All going into storage and into the shop. So I'll show you out the back here. You see, uh, I could pull quite a bit out, but I mean, I got a toolbox. It's full of tools and stuff in there. It's going to go to the shop. This whole carport here, that's full of stuff. Got to empty that out. So I'm not going to do everything this weekend. I still got some work to do here at home. But I'm going to at least get the ball rolling, get started, get a few things over there. And... Uh, you know, bit by bit, we'll start moving everything that we don't need here over there. So I'm going to load this all up and let's go take a look at, at our new space, shall we? I'm excited to show you. Here's the big reveal. You guys ready? Here's the shop. Tons of room in here. Good fit. Two semis in here. And of course, uh, I didn't come alone. Britt's at work, she's coming right after work, but. Uh, brought the Weasel and Chevy to check it out and get their approval. What do you guys think? What do you think, Diesel? This is our new shop. Very nice, very nice. Chevy, what do you think? The big door. So I've got some stuff in here already. I've got a table, uh, a chair, just my office chair, and uh, all my bull snot stuff like I was showing you, uh, heater, uh, pressure washer. So there is water in here. There's heated floors as well. Heated floors are always kept at uh, 60 degrees. That's not under my control. Uh, so the temperature inside here will always be about 50 to 55 Fahrenheit. And uh, like I brought a heater along. It's not the best one. It'll work for now, but I can get a, a small a shop heater. Plug it in here. We have a four, uh, 240 plug right here. Plug her in there and uh, go from there. We can warm this place up more if we have to, but it'll do the job. It'll keep everything warm and it'll uh, give everything a chance to thaw out and it'll give me a place to uh, clean these vehicles and clean the keep the semi truck cleaned polished detailed I really like it it's got really high ceilings too what do you think diesel your floor is kind of warm man it's very nice you know heated floors I know right so we've settled in a little bit guys what do you think what do you think? 
we've got to get shelving in here and uh, counters and such, but we've got our bull snot area right here all set up. <laughs> My work area over here, the heater right beside me there, so that this whole area here in the back of the shop stays a little warmer. We're away from all the cold drafts of the front. So yeah, I'm, I really like it, you know? Feels good to have some of my stuff in here at least, you know? Maybe we'll uh, bug Bullsnot for a few bigger posters to put up there. Got a pretty big wall to fill up over there, maybe all around here. I'm gonna hang up my flags for sure. Canada flag, US flag, Manitoba flag. I still got a lot of wall space. Chevy, maybe we should get a big blown up picture of you, right? Your beautiful golden face. And then one you meet you. Me too, me too, me too. Can we get some like really nice looking dog pictures? Like, some, some... Diesel, you want pictures of girls on the walls? Yes, female dogs, yes. This isn't your shop, man. You can put up all the posters of all the girl dogs you want when you get your own shop, okay? This is my little work area here for now until I get some counter space, my Timmy's. I'm gonna start working on some vlogs and I'll take it from here. Britt should be here in about a half hour or so to take a look at it when she's off work. And we're gonna leave her vehicle in here to let it thaw out because her uh, she's having some uh, issues with some of her lines freezing as well. Everything freezes in the winter time. So we're gonna leave it in here for a few days, just let it completely thaw out and that should, we'll see if that fixes it, I don't know. The engine light popped on today. I went and got the tire sensor light turned off, like fixed that this morning, then on the way back, the engine light came on. Very sad. And her dad uh, works at GM and he's saying it's probably uh, ice built up in the Oh, where was he? he explained it to me. But anyway, we're gonna try parking it inside in the warmth for a while, see if that does the trick. I did put some new uh, seat covers in here today. It's a little crooked, we still gotta set it up a little, make sure they're straight, but at least that'll protect my seats from getting dirty. I'm gonna take all that stuff out of here because Britt's gonna have to drive home, have a ride home with me. The dogs get the back seat, right Chevy? Back seat's all yours, man. You and Diesel. And getting the wife's opinion. What does the wife think of the shop? It's very good space. It's awesome. Very good. We could stack a couple semi trucks. Lots of wall space for flags and pictures of trucks. All the things that I won't let you hang in the house. Yes. <laughs> exactly right, it's Chevy. Man space. Diesel wanted to use it to hang pictures of all his girlfriends. All the all the female dogs. I told him he had to get his own shop before he could do that. We'll get you a copy of Paw House instead of Penthouse. She's <laughs> my favorite magazine. Anyways, we're gonna park the terrain in here overnight and let it thaw out. Hopefully that takes care of the check engine light. Yeah, I told him about that. Got rid of one light and got another one. I turned off the radio on the way here from work and listened to the engine and it doesn't sound any different to me, but maybe my ears aren't fine tuned up. I don't know. We got an email because uh, it emails you when the. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, it was something about emissions. So your dad said it might be an O2 sensor or something. Okay, okay. We'll see. We're going to try to thaw it all out in here and see if that fixes it. If that doesn't fix it, we'll whack it with a hammer. Right? Absolutely. Kick it. Or kick it, or both. Yeah. If that doesn't work, we'll just. Uh, We'll crush it. Yeah, bring it to the professionals. Maybe that might be a good idea. The professional crushers, yeah. They'll crush it, get rid of it. We'll get a new one. We've been thinking about it, but I don't think we'll actually go for it. Not anytime we'd, soon. We'd like a new terrain, but uh, I'll probably wait. Anyways, we've got to switch the vehicles out and head home. She's tired. She's been working all day. Mm -hmm.